I wanted to make a quick guide on gearing up in Throne and Liberty, especially because we have a bunch of pe new people joining with the release, full release, not early access this time today, October 1st. And so anyways, gearing in Throne and Liberty can definitely be quite confusing at times. I know as a new player myself, when I started, it was very confusing and I watched a bunch of guides and they didn't clearly explain it. So I'm going to do my best to clearly explain it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, but I will do my best. So when you're starting out in Throne of Liberty, you're going to have the, you know, just the basic gray gear. Uh, you'll have these and basically none of that matters. Um, eventually you will move up to green gear, uh, generally by crafting it. So let's go into how you craft green gear first. So you will get some green gear from quests and drops, but generally you're going to craft the majority of your green set. And so if you go hit comma and you go into uh, your crafting thing, you can craft your green gear from here. So we can go to the weapons, you can craft whatever weapons you want. And what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need your green materials, quality, polished crystals, and lithographs. You will get some lithographs from the quest lines and you'll get some of these from the quest lines. And then you'll also, in your inventory, it will have uh, consumables where you can get those materials as well. Uh, don't open these because, you know, it'll let you get the specific material that you need when you need it. But anyways, you can craft whatever green gear you want. Again, it doesn't really matter what green gear you're cra crafting. Just make sure it's the correct weapon that you want for your final build to be. So maybe do some research on, like, what build you want to build. I might make a video on, you know, what the strongest classes are in a day or two. Um, but armor-wise, it doesn't matter that much. So once you've crafted a an entire set of green gear, so you'll have full green armor, and then all green accessories and two green weapons, you'll start thinking about getting blue gear. Now, blue gear, generally, I haven't actually crafted any of it yet. I got a couple from lithographs, and most the majority of my blue gear is all from either drops or it is from um, just the quest line. You'll get a full set of blue armor uh, from the quest line, and so you may be wondering uh, how upgrading blue armor works. So it's not what you think. It's not separate from green gear. Any green gear that you get, you're going to feed into your blue armor. And so basically, when you go into your equipment enchanting with uh, the hotkey period, you can take any of your green gear and say we want to upgrade. We don't have it right now, but say we want to upgrade, uh, you know, these boots, right? And say they're level zero. So you can take your green boots and basically you're going to want to level them up to level six as level six is the max you always want to this is really important you always want to fully max out your gear before you inject it into or transfer it into the next level of gear so make sure that your green are level six before putting them into blue and then make sure your blue are level nine before putting them into purple and this is important because it is harder to get the higher quality growth stones as you can see it takes green growth stones to level up a green armor piece it takes blue to level up a blue armor piece and it takes purple to level up the purple armor piece so that's why you want to feed in a max level lower level thing so basically you're going to want to get this max level green set on all of your pieces and uh, let's go into how you get these quality growth armor uh, growth stones there's a number of places you can get them you can get them from doing contracts so for example i don't know if he'll have them uh, yeah, he doesn't actually have them, but I promise you can get them from doing contracts. And then uh, you can also, uh, I guess, so contracts will give you a crafting material where you can craft them later on. But generally for green ones, you'll get enough just by doing the main story quest line that you don't have to craft any of the green ones uh, to fully level up your two weapons and then all your armor pieces to level six. And so let's say that you do have a maxed out piece of armor and you want to input it, you can go to transfer and then, um, so I don't really have a good ex example. Okay. okay. So what, what I'll show is when you have the green thing, um, say that just imagine that this is blue and this is green and I want to put, put the green into the blue. You can, you have to, you have to remember to unequip whatever item you're going to transfer in and you have to do it on any of your or all of your builds or it won't work so you have three different builds gear builds here and you have to unequip it on all of them it's really really annoying but that's just how it works you're going to go back to period hit transfer click on the thing you want to transfer in and that and then you can see it'll go to level six on the purple now i'm not going to do that right now because it is much harder to trade blue armor which i won't get into right now but basically it's not worth it for me to use purple yet this is also not the purple that i want to use um but yeah so that is how you transfer levels in and just know that you always want to max out 
um, your gear before transferring it. So see, I need to max out this cape to level nine before I transfer it into a purple cape. And same with the other things. So let's uh, cover lithography real quick as that is how I got a number of my uh, blue pieces, including the rings. Um, and I think the neck or one of the rings, one of the necklaces and um, I think everything else I probably got from just the main story quest line. So if you go into your main menu and go, you go to your lithograph book, there are a number of different things that you can do here. Um, but if I go to my favorites, so the elemental rings, this is how I got the violet signet uh, blue ring. Basically, if you get four of these green rings and again, you can craft these green rings by getting, getting the uh, green lithographs and crafting them in your crafting menu. Uh, we went over that earlier. And once you get all four of these, you just input them and then you get a nice blue ring from it. So that's an easy way to get that. And then um, I'm not exactly sure where it would be. It should be here. Let's just go down to the bottom. Yeah, so I also did these cloaks to get a nice blue cloak as you don't get a cloak from the main story quest as well. And uh, the Deadeye cloak is pretty good also. So that's how I got my cloak and my extra blue ring. Sophia's ring of strength you will get from uh, the main story quest line. And then Sophia's necklace of strength, the way you get that blue gear is if you go to, let's see, once you unlock it, if you go to Silius's abyss and you finish the like extra content that it has, like the side quest basically, once you finish all the side quests there, uh, you will be rewarded with this blue necklace. And as you can see, all I have left is to get a blue, uh, blue bracelet and a blue belt, which I am working on. I do have this blue bracelet, but I'm not a big fan of it straight, so I'm probably going to work on getting a different one. Same with this necklace. So I already have a green neck or a blue necklace that I personally think is better. So anyways, that is how you gear out your things to blue and green and how the upgrade system works hopefully that you know shed some light on it and made it look a little or made it a little bit more clear on how that works again it was really complicated when i figured it out it's just so not uh it's, it's very again it's very mobile game-esque it's not um you know obvious on how it works and stuff so uh one last thing that i want to touch on is trading this is really really convoluted and um this is sort of, you know, more of the pay to win aspect of the game for sure. So I'm just gonna cover real quick. So there's this thing called traits. And as you can see on this sword, you have the damage and then the damage reduction, then you have attack speed, range, and shield block chance. Then below it, you see a construct bonus damage 40 and max health 1270. And below that you see traits. So as you can see, you can have three different traits. We only have the first one unlocked and we have a hit chance of 20 for the trait on this. Okay, so I have two examples here. So first we have this Golem Shattering Sword, which has, as you can see, the same trait, hit chance, 20 on there. So we can eat this up. You can see you have the trait conversion with a 100% enchant rate. If we were doing this with a green version, then it wouldn't have 100% enchant rate, but we will do enchant and we're doing hit chance plus 20 to get basically a tier two uh, trait. So as you can see, we can do that and it worked. So it went up to tier two trait. However, I also have a Golem Shattering Sword with Construct Bonus Damage of 4, and we could unlock the second trait here. Um, and I'll just do it just, you know, for the video's sake. And as you can see, it now we have two different traits on this weapon. Now, something you may want to do is, you know, Construct Bonus Damage 4, that's not really that good of a trait. So what you can do is you could do a trait conversion to get it to a random trait that hopefully isn't the construct bonus damage and to do that you need the trait conversion stones okay so you can get trait conversion stones from the guild merchant as well as you can see they are right here and you have a weekly limit of 100 so again that's not that many for trading so it can definitely take a while and again the trading is definitely the pay to win aspect of this game but anyways, I hope you all found this guide helpful for gearing up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'll have more guides coming out as I progress through the game. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great week. Enjoy the launch of this MMO, and I'll see you next time.